Hey, how's it going? I know it's been a little bit since I've done a video. I kind of took all of January for a little bit of personal time, did a little bit of hunting. Hunting season is done. Unfortunately, I wasn't successful at uh, fulfilling my tag this year, but uh, you know, that's hunting. Kind of like fishing. You're not catching you're fishing. <laughs> Looking to get back into the swing of things. I've got a few mods coming for the Tacoma. I've kind of alluded to a couple of those already over on my Instagram channel. So if you're not following me over at Mumphy underscore taco, be sure to do so. So that way you're up to date on some of the teases and adventures and things like that over there in between videos. So today I figured, you know, let's start off by doing a vehicle walk around. I'll just showcase what I have on the Tacoma. Hopefully it'll give you some ideas on any sort of mods you're looking to do for your own Tacoma. I'm excited to hear your feedback. Let me know what you guys think about what I have on the Tacoma. So let's go ahead and jump into this. All right, let's start off with the business end of the Tacoma. Right up front, as you'll see, I do have a WeatherTech bug and stone deflector up here just to kind of help minimize any of the rock chips i might get on the hood and as we move down the biggest and most obvious thing is my custom v2 trd pro style grill kind of stylized after the new fourth gen grill i have it customized to say mumphy with some rgb lighting this one comes with the raptor style lights in there and it also has some side marker lights I didn't hook them up because I kind of like not having those lit up. Personal preference choice, up to you guys if you want to connect those or not. As we move on down, I have replaced my front bumper with a low profile full plate bumper from Southern Style Off-Road. You can get this in a tube style so the side wings will be tube. I do have a 30 inch light bar cutout. That's an option from Southern Style Off-Road that fits my Heretic 30 inch amber perfectly. Love the output on this Heretic light bar. I do have this in a combo so I do have a spot and flood. And then I've also attached my old uh, D-rings that I used from my Demon brackets. Moving on over, I have replaced my factory fog lights with a set of Heretic fog light kits. These things are awesome. You can get them in a spot flood or a combo set. And I got it in the amber to really help kind of seal the front end in amber for all that low light that I'm gonna need down, down low. As we move up across the hood, You'll see that I have a pair of SDHQ ditch light brackets. Love these things as they give a little bit more width. So that way I can place my Heretic Quattros a little bit further out to give me a better angle on the side for those ditch lights. And then mounted on my driver's side, I also have a Midland Ghost antenna that runs into the cab where I have it hooked up to my Midland 275 ra radio, GMRS radio. Let's go ahead and move on to the driver's side and I'll give you a better look on what I got going on over there. About 5,000 miles ago, I actually changed my tires from the Nitto Ridge Grapplers that I had and I ran those for about 42,000 miles over to the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss ATs. Now these are the standard load, so you get a little bit less aggressive profile, at least on the sidewall that I've noticed, versus the LTs. But with that, you actually do get some weight savings. These are about a 42, 48 pound tire where the LTs are gonna be closer to 60 pounds. Just keep that in mind if you're looking at doing the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss ATs. As we move up, you'll notice that uh, I have replaced my side marker lights with a set of smoked sequential turn signals that match the factory LED headlights. Love these things. You can also get them in a full black or a clear, so that's that's really nice. I also have some flag magnets. These are from Tactilian. As we move down, I also have the blackout package from Amazon. These are just overlays. And then down at the bottom, I'm running a set of CBI Overland style rock sliders with the top plates. I like these. It gives me good footing if I'm ever climbing up top to reach 
my Rome boxes. It does have the kick out and these are also DOM tubing. So it's a little bit more structurally sound. One thing I want to note, you can't really see it, but I do have a set of screen protect door sill covers. These things will save your vinyl if you've decided to keep these on the truck. Now all you got to do is just wipe them down and they're, they're like brand new. As we move on up, I have replaced my Prinsu roof rack with a Trail Racks roof rack. This is their TRMR <laughs> roof rack, their Tremor rack. Really do like this roof rack. I haven't really talked too much about it. Some of the key features I like about this roof rack is the fact that the angle as you move up is in line with your windshield and that helps cut down on wind noise. I have not experienced any wind noise with this roof rack. It fits my 40 inch Heretic light bar perfectly. And as you look on the side here, you'll see lots of mounting point options. Uh, right here, it's got a cutout. So if you want to add uh, lighting, some accent lighting, you can. But I have the Heretic grab handle with the integrated light switch. So this turns on and off with the push button. Love this thing. It is rock solid, helps me get up so I can reach my roam cases. The other thing is it does have a nice little bend up on top. So you actually have mounting options. And one thing that I might do is take my ghost antenna and mount it up a little bit higher, just for a little bit better reachability. Up top, I have said before, these are the Rome 83 liter cases, rugged cases, and I do have the Rome rugged mounts as well. Now, as we come to the bed of the truck, what I have mounted on top is the Saints Off-Road Tango bed rack. This thing is a robust bed rack. They don't make them in any other sizes other than a three quarter height, but I like that because it helps keep everything kind of in a lower profile. What I like about this particular bed rack is all of the mounting options that you have on here. Obviously you can see that I have my Rotopax on this side but it also has these cutouts for lighting and they are sized perfectly for a set of my Heretic BA2s just for that accent lighting whenever I need that. Up on top you will see mounted my 230 Armadillo A2 rooftop tent. I went with this one because I like the hard shell aspect and I didn't want that uh, soft shell vinyl kind of just flapping in the wind and becoming a giant sail. This has been a great tent camping in. Uh, my only thing is I would suggest swapping out the mattress that comes in it and get yourself an air mattress. I have one from Amazon that just inflates really, really fast, really well. And having that inflatable mattress will actually allow you much more space inside if you want to keep some of your bedding in there with a little bit more room to pack down. One of the other things I kind of want to note on the side of the truck is the suspension setup that I have on the Tacoma. I am running an Icon Stage 8 that comes with the reservoirs, but they are not adjustable. I also have the RXT Leaf Pack set at Stage 3, which allows for up to 600 pounds with a I believe it's an inch droop when fully maxed out. Let's go ahead and move on to the back of the Tacoma. I've got a few goodies over there. Here we are at the back of the Tacoma. And as you can see, I do have a spare tire carrier. This is a Dirtcom trail swing. I like the build quality of this. And I did get it used, which is pretty cool to help save on a little bit of money. I like the fact that Dirtcom does offer a lifetime warranty that is transferable, which basically helps with any sort of parts. I'm running a full-size spare, Mickey Thompson Baja Boss, and I have the 23-0 trash bag on the back. This thing has been really, really solid. Love this thing. It's got side pockets here, so I can throw some extra trash bags in it super easy to adjust so that way i know that i've got plenty of space in here to make sure that my campsites are nice and clean other than that you can see that i do have a set of six inch heretic light bars that i'm running as chase lights in my tango bed rack i've also swapped out my tail lights these are from depot they are the black trd pro style tail lights 
I have no issues with them. I have switched out my reverse lights to some LEDs, as well as my license plate LEDs have been swapped out as well. Let's move on over to the passenger side. I've got a couple more accessories over there, and then we'll move on to the interior. Now, one thing that definitely makes me an overlander is having a set of recovery boards. So why not go big and loud with a set of the Max Tracks in turquoise? These are the MK2s mounted to my Saints Off-Road bed rack. And as we move up, back up to the Trail Racks roof rack, you will see that I have a kick-ass shower awning. This is a privacy room, shower, changing room, whatever you really need it for. It's been very nice having but I am looking at upgrading this to something that actually has a, a nice little roof over the top of it for those in, inclement weather days. But I do have this mounted to a set of Rax Brax mounts. And I really like these because I can quickly disconnect these, pull this off, set it in my garage just to save weight if I ever need to. Now I do have a few mods that you really can't see on the exterior of the Tacoma. These are a little bit more of the performance stuff and some other accessories. Starting off with my Long Range America fuel tank. This will get rid of your 21 gallon factory fuel tank and up it to 33 gallons. I know this isn't a practical mod for everybody, but if you are keeping your truck for a long time and have long road trips, it's definitely something to consider. Check out my review video on the fuel tank. Now, one of the things to consider when you're upping your suspension is making sure that you have enough brake line. I've upgraded mine to a set of extended brake lines that are steel braided. Very, very good having those, especially when you're in flex situations. Now, one of the other things that I've done with my oversized tires is doing a cab mount relocation. Now they, you can do a cab mount chop. I decided to go for the full relocation and mine are from DRT. Excellent relocation kit. Now a couple of mods that I have on the truck you really can't see because they are performance mods and I re-geared my Tacoma to a set of 529 Yukons to really help be able to move this mass. And to go along with that, I've also tuned my Tacoma with an OTT tune that is set up to run the 529s and is specifically tuned for the amount of weight. If you're looking at doing a tune, I recommend OTT. I have not experienced any other tunes out there, but I do like the fact that I can go back to my tuner who's here locally in Utah and any future adjustments to that tune, I can reach out to him anytime and get those done. With that, let's jump in to the inside of the Tacoma. All right, as we move into the Tacoma, first thing you'll probably notice are my dirty LazFit floor mats, but they're doing their job keeping the dirt in. I'll have to go wash these and remember not to forget them at the car wash. As we move up, I've replaced the factory panel here because I have my eight gang Switch Pro control panel here. And just move some of the buttons around. As we drop down low, you'll see that I do have a Molly panel. There is another one on the other side of the console. This side, I've got a couple of flashlights, got my knife. I've got a quick uh, tourniquet kit here, just in case for any sort of emergencies like that. Nice to be prepared. As we move in, I do have the blackout kit. This was from uh, AJT Designs, as well as the chrome ring deletion from Miso Customs. I also have the cup holder replacement, so these can fit your larger uh, plastic drink bottles. Love having that. Also have the chrome deletion kit for the uh, four wheel selector and the start stop button. Also replace that with a red button from Miso Customs. As we move on up, I do have the Screen Pro Tech kit on my nav screen, on my dash, and for the little shift screen right here. These things are wonderful. Highly recommend getting some of those. As we pop up, I do have the Stealth Dash Mount kit from Taco Garage. It houses my RAM mount, my uh, mic mount for my Midland 275 GMRS radio, 
I do have another ram mount on the other side here of the moose. And then as we drop down again, here's the base for the Midland 275 radio. And then I've just got a little pouch attached to the other Molly panel. As we move to the center console, I do have my organizing kit here and a little magnet up here and then top tray underneath there you have the organizing kit this one's the five so i've got two large panels here and then three smaller ones kind of nice to have that for larger items just in case and then over here don't mind the mess i've got my uh, organizer for the glove box let's just get those back in there and... all right as we come into the back here is my thin skins door panel covers. These things are really nice because I can just pop them off, have the nice factory look. And then if I ever want to keep those safe, pop those right back on and keep my door panels scratch free. I also have the uh, Miso Customs Chrome Deletion uh, door handle kits. Really like those. As we move over, to the back seat, here is my pet cover, I'm trying to keep down the uh, pet hair off the factory stuff. So this is done pretty well. If, you know, the dogs have a little bit of an accident, you know, at least it's contained. This is just some film stuff, so ignore that. Coming down, here's the uh, back seat, last fit floor mats, a couple of torque straps, just my uh, ice scraper for those cold mornings. Do have a little bit of a garbage bag back here, which is always nice to have. And that's about it. Well, Muffy Muffy, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you enjoyed the vehicle walk around. Hope it helped inspire you for any sort of mods that you're looking at doing. Let me know down in the comment sections what you guys think, what kind of mods you're considering for your Tacoma. And also let me know what you would like me to cover in upcoming videos. Love to hear your feedback, get your, comments down below and if you're interested in any of the modifications that i have on my tacoma be sure to jump over to mumphy.us slash mods i keep a running tally over there and where you can actually pick those up those are some affiliate links some are direct links as to where you can pick those up once again i greatly appreciate you joining me on this stay tuned for more videos coming up i got some pretty good ones that i'm excited about and i'll catch you in the next video peace